Hello everyone. Many people have already heard it, or may have already heard it. The DSI shop is shutting doors by 2017. The decent lineup of downloadable games will be out of reach forever. But we can't allow that, can't we? After all, it's Nintendo we're talking about. We want some of those rare, precious resources, and we want them now. The precious DSi exclusive content has been left encrypted in a somewhat dazzling format. A classic binary file that could only have been read from the console it was being downloaded from, making decryption a pain. To gather a key is such as an extensive and expensive feat, but a good community with great experience never gives up, no matter how long it may take. In 2014, the DSi SRL Extractor came up, a tool that miraculously decrypts the DSiWare into readable DS-ROMs. As impossible it may sound right now, we can't afford to question such miracle, but using it is dead. Here's where I come in, I'll tell you how to do it as easy as possible. Are you ready? The tools that you need is a Nintendo DSiWare that came from a DSi, not a 3DS. At the DSi SRL Extractor, the star of the tutorial, Tinke, for a game icon and other types of exploration and research, BGM Trans, for music extraction, and Mario Kart DS Course Modifier or Every File Explorer, for 3D model view and downloads. Here are the steps. First, get the Nintendo DSiWare ready in your computer. This may be done through two methods. Get an SD card on your DSi. Go to System Options Data Management. Here, you can select any DSiWare of your choice that can be transferred. Select it and click Copy. The game is now on your SD card. But sounds easier than it is. Get the SD card in the PC and localize the DSi within using the specified path. The SD card, private, and bin. Here are your DSiWare. But they look funny, don't they? They are encrypted, protected from prying eyes into their game title code. Get ready for the next step. Oh, and so, for the people that don't have a DSi, get the DSiWare from the internet. You have a favorite? If so, go for it and search it. Chances are, if you already found encrypted ones, then you are ready for step 3. If not, just go to step 2. Step 2. The long-awaited part. Get the DSi SRL extractor unzipped anywhere you want. Drag the encrypted DSiWare into the software. And voila! The program just decrypts your file and is now sitting beside the encrypted one with its real title and has an NDS ROM format. Perfect! Now, doesn't that feel great? Step 3 With the Nintendo DS file at hand, you can do anything you do when you rip a Nintendo DS ROM. For starters, we can open it with Tinke, a Spanish software that can not only analyze a Nintendo DS file, but can also research 
its compatibility with the program and can also be used in many other tasks such as unpacking, unzipping, viewing files and many more. Once we have Dinke running, we can just select a file from our location, that is the decrypted file. Then it just loads and we already got all we need in our hands. Here is the game information that already tells the game's title in the languages it was supposed to be. From Japanese, English, Spanish, German and we can even have the DSI's banner that will also be viewable in the Nintendo DSi. We can save it as we want it. There we go. And save. And that's how you save the banner for your own purposes. That is, the banner is not animated. For the moment, I cannot tell you how to do that. As I said before, Think tells you how much of the game's files can be recognized. A 73% is a pretty good amount. Now, here are the main things that you need to consider. Here on the root file, we may have many types of files that may differ from a ROM to other. In many cases, you may recognize many files as you did before. Examples are here. We have txt files that are just text files. Looks like it shows some uh, operating stuff that tells you of the game's data. If the data is corrupted, if it's saving, these are more just likely developer that informates the people. We can unpack these files only on different occasions. If they are unpackable, well, tough luck. <laughs> But in many occasions, you may already find what you want. For example, if you want the game's music, you can just use the SDAT file. STAT file is also just the sound database that the game contains. Inside the game's SDAT files, we find the menu team and many other teams, as well as sound effects. But what we are looking for are these. SWAR. We just have to unpack them and we already got all the ins that may have a song. In other occasions, depending on how is programmed that sound it may not be available here at first. But who knows, as well as we find what we want, we are gravy. We can save the WAV and herd it for later. Let's try to test it out right now. Once you got the files you want, you can just extract them and put them everywhere you want. Now, of course, I won't be the judge of what you want. Second, if you want to view the game files in a very detailed manner, more organized, BGM Trans, as I said before, is your friend. BGM Trans can view the game's audio as it was supposed to be. Well, not 100% of the cases. We just search for the ROM wherever it is. And there we go. 
once the files are opened, we can just view here the sec file, the sequence file. The sequence file contains the instruments organized as they should be in game. The sequence, the audio bank and the set of instruments. Sometimes they may be just samples. Let's see how they sound. Now isn't that some sweet bass? But also we want to hear something else. Once we get the desired music file, right click, save as MIDI instrument file and DLS, downloadable sound, or if you want, sound font 2. If you want high fidelity, as it should be in-game, which will work most of the time, I recommend you use MIDI and DLS. Choose the file that you want to save them, and there you go. It's all good. Let's see what we got. Now of course, this is the file with the instruments as they are arranged, but the file that contains the instruments and how they are arranged, the instrument sounds that is, it's this, the DLS. Both of these should be open with FL, Fruity Loop Studio. You can search it up as you want. And there you may arrange them as they were and save them as they sound exactly in gameplay. Now of course Fruity Loop Studio comes with a price tag so watch out. Let's call upon Tinky once again. This time we are going to see the Nintendo DSi browser. Many will tell me that this is not a game but just a program. But who cares, it's made by Nintendo and it has something good inside, isn't it? Recognized files are 62%. Keep that in mind that even if not everything in this ROM can be recognized, you cannot underestimate the power of Tinke, because it can recognize some of the sprites and the sounds and even models, but the models are just rare occasions. It's still recommended that you use Mario Kart DS course modifier for that. Now, here we have a lucky shot. As you can see, we have PNG photos that can just be viewed with a Windows Photo Viewer or any other type of photo visualization program. Here we have some of the command files. If you want something to extract from here, just click extract, there is the file name and save. The rest is up to you, because we already have what we want. Now of course we can also have some animations from some pictures, because those are sprites for you. Can be built with anything, some will have just a transparent border, some will not. From here on, you can use them for your animations, sprite sheets, whatever. Some can be seen, some cannot be seen. Let's try another one. Let's try another one and see what we can get. An interesting arrangement of fonts and sprites. As you can see here, these are the fonts that come in game. This is a 6 in 1 dictionary which has a long variety of sprites. Isn't that amazing? 
and yes you can look at them in width and length and modify the font for the game now if you ask me how to put them back into a DSi format I'm sorry I cannot answer you to that question at least for the moment of course you can also see the palettes of some objects but that's up to you where you want to go and how long you want to go with it now as I said before everything can be done a little bit better with Tinkay unlike other files but when it comes to 3D what we have here is 3D twist and match and as suspected the game has 3D models last but not least we can use Mario Kart DS course modifier or every file explorer this is where they come into place it may look deceptive like how this game does have 3D objects well let me tell you the world is full of surprises if you see in the model section these leaps that means these are 3D models we just have to check them out and see what we can get hmm not so much eh now with the scroll wheel of the mouse we just slide the mouse wheel upwards not down because it will zoom in and that is a major disadvantage we zoom out with the dragon in up of the mouse and here we go now with the arrow keys we can rotate the object into a more viewable position isn't that nice we got a bucket of sand now that doesn't feel salty and the best part we can just export the model as an obg wavefront object whatever we just type the name we can and the best part textures textures come along with the model we can just select the format png tiff or tga true vision one of the best formats for 3d models but i just want to stick it easy i mean just look at this model we just click ok and we can view them with either 3ds maya or even blender but there is just one problem some may be viewable some not i'm not responsible for that if that happens it's just one of the model's many consequences. That is all for today. I hope you may have learned some valuable information. But of course, before closing this tutorial, I want you to hear a beautiful music.